Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to implement this function of pick up and drop. So when we press play here, as soon as we overlap the box collision, we can press F and then we can pick it up. So when you press F again, we can drop simulating the physics. So this is the final result uh, and let's go to the tutorial. Uh, so here we are on our third person template. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to import our pistol that I linked in the description below. So you're going to get this pistol yellow. So let's click here on import, choose your FBX file. And then here we're going to have the settings. You don't need to like, click on anything. Just got to import all. All right. So let's put this, those assets in a folder. Let's create a new folder. Let's call this gone. All right, let's select all of this and then move it to here. All right, so first thing you got to check out is the size of the gun. So let's drag and drop to the world. As you can see, our weapon is very big. So we can double click on the static mesh. And then go here on the details on the search bar. You can type for scale. Uh, we're going to want to set our scale, our import uniform scale to 0 0.05. And reimport mesh, reimport base mesh. Yeah, so you gotta check this out. Uh, another thing, other from scale, you gotta check the collision. Uh, make sure it has simple collision activated, so you're good to go. So we can delete this already. Uh, so now we're going to create a blueprint for the pistol. So let's select the pistol, click on right click. And then we're going to go to the asset actions and create a blueprint using this. So we're going to select our gun folder and we're going to rename the blueprint to BP underscore pistol yellow. Hit save. And now we have our blueprint here. We can drag and drop this pistol to the world. And let's go here to the BP pistol yellow. Let's go to the viewport and here's our pistol. So we're going to add a collision box. Uh, so only when the character overlaps this box here, uh, we're going to be able to pick up the gun. So if you are far away from the gun, we're not going to be able to pick up. So one thing that I like to do here, we're going to Uncheck this option hidden in game so that we can see the collision box in the world. Right here. Okay, very good. So we're gonna go to the static mesh. And we're gonna go down here to collisions, physics first. Let's simulate the physics. Check that option on. And the mass we're gonna choose 40. Scroll down a little bit until we find this. Let's put custom, physics only, this physics body, and then we're gonna check ignore. Okay. So we're gonna check the two options and this one's two. So you're going to do exactly as you do here. That's pretty much what you got to do here on the viewport. Uh, let's go to the box collision. We're going to get the begin overlap. So this code here is going to be executed after our character collides with the box collision, which you know is this box here. And we're going to get the end overlap. This end overlaps is when our character gets out of the box collision. So when our character does not overlap, like he leaves the box collision, this code is going to be executed. So we need a Boolean value. We can choose our name. I'm going to call this pistol overlap. So this Boolean value is going to be either true or false. So when our character overlaps, this is going to be true. And our character leaves the box collision, it's going to be false. And we're going to be able to access these variables here on the third person character. You can press save. We can go to content, 
third person blueprints and let's access the third person character let's go to the event graph and here i already created a variable pistol attached you can create it too um so let's go let's type event begin play so we gotta check if the the pistol is in the world so let's get all class all actors of a class so we're gonna choose our bp pistol yellow get a copy and then promote this copy to a variable and we can name this variable to pistol just simply like that let's name this pistol all right so uh, when we press play here our pistol physics is on but when you press F nothing happens because we didn't set up the uh, the code for it so when you press F we're gonna type here F key when you press F we're gonna execute the code so the first thing we're gonna do here we're gonna check if our pistol is already attached to the character and we're gonna get the branch so if the pistol is already attached don't do nothing and if the pistol is attached we can drag off pistol and say get pistol overlap and then we gotta have this information if the pistol is overlapping the character mesh so if it is a uh, weapon in the hand we don't want to simulate the physics because it's gonna uh, generate some issues we're gonna get pistol get static mesh mesh of the pistol and then we're gonna set simulate physics to off so we're gonna attach actor to component <clears throat> so as you can see here it says target is actor and the actor is our gun so we're gonna get the pistol and the parent is our mesh so you can uh, just drag out of the mesh here and then pin that to the parent and here location rule we're gonna set snap to target all of them and now the socket name uh, we need to know exactly where the pistol is gonna be when we attach our app weapon to the uh, to our character mesh so how are you gonna do that so let's go to the characters and type here on the search bar s key mannequin and we're gonna double click on this so this is the character this is the this is the wait, let me so this is the skeleton of the um, the queen i think it's queen the, pronunci the pronunciation i don't know so let's type here hand and so we need to know the exact location where we're gonna attach our weapon to if you go here we can create an add socket and then this is the name of our socket hand slash r socket so when you right click on this add preview asset and type here pistol and so this is going to be the location of our pistol of course it's not right we gotta fix that and okay it doesn't need to be perfect uh, for the purpose of this tutorial but you can always always uh rotate it and move it whatever place you want okay so we're gonna copy this uh socket here press f2 copy here ctrl c and in the socket name ctrl v okay so when we hit compile and press play when you press f uh we're not colliding with the box collision so nothing happens but when we overlap 
press F. Uh, something's not working. <laughs> uh, let me see. What is it? Mm, collision. Two hours later. Uh, sorry, guys. This is actually false. So when we hit play, and we run over the the voxelation, press F, and then it uh, attaches the gun. So when I press F again, nothing happens because we didn't set up the detach code yet. But as you can see here, when you press F and we are outside the box collision, uh, nothing happens. And then we are here, I can attach it. So this is the code for attaching the weapon. Now we want to detach the weapon. So how are we going to do that? We're going to get the pistol attached. We're going to set the pistol attached to be checked on. So that way we want to tell this variable that we already attached this gun. Um, so now we're going to collapse all of this. Let's collapse the nodes. Uh, this you can do by preference. Uh, I just want to have a more organized code. So we're going to name this attach. Let's double click on this and Let's actually add a, a print string here. So we're going to say if we're going to say it's too far from weapon. This is just for the purpose of the tutorial. You don't need to do this. So when the, uh, our character is away from the, the pistol, when you press F, it's going to tell, it's going to print on the screen that the, the player is too far from the weapon. So that way you know more what's going on in the code. So, okay, so drag off this. All right. So now we're going to execute the, the other code, the detach code. So we're going to get a new branch and we're going to get the, the information of the pistol attached. So we're going to know if the pistol is attached or not. If the pistol is attached, now we, we're going to want to detach this pistol. So if this, uh, boolean value is true then that means we already got our weapon in our hands so now we want to detach it uh, so now let's write detach from actor and let's drag our pistol here we want to detach our pistol all right uh, let's run this code to see what happens uh, okay, so we have our pistol here, we press F, we pick up the gun, we press F again, and the gun disappears. Uh, the reason why here is because we didn't tell the engine where location of the gun is going to be after we detach it from the actor. So we're going to set actor, location, and rotation. And uh, the target is our pistol. So we're going to set the location and rotation of the pistol when we detach uh, from our player. So we're going to get the, the name of the socket. We're going to get the relative location and rotation of the socket. So we're going to copy the name of the socket here. And... We're going to tell it, look, I want to have the socket location of the mesh. Uh, and the socket name is going to be hand or socket. And we got our location. Now we need our rotation. Get socket rotation. And we're going to connect the rotation to the values and location. That's pretty much everything you need to do on this here. So when we press play, uh, we pick up our gun and then we press F again. And there you go. There is, uh, this is where the PC is going to be in. 
So now that we detached uh, the weapon, so we're gonna set the pistol attached variable to false. And uh, we're gonna simulate the physics because when we press play and detach it, we're gonna have to simulate the physics again. Okay, let's drag and drop our pistol first. And get the static mesh. And drag off this and set collision enabled. And we're going to choose collision enabled query in physics. And after that, we're going to set simulate physics finally to on. So this is going to activate the collision after we drop our weapon. And this is going to simulate the physics after. So let's run to our weapon, press F and then press F again. And there you go. We dropped our weapon and it simulated physics as well. Physics as well. <laughs> so uh, one thing that I like to do here is uh, organize the code better. So you can right click and collapse into nodes and right here, detach. So this is attach and detach. Compile, hit play and when we are away from the weapon, we press F, nothing happens. And now we can pick up the gun. There you go. We can do something, <laughs> we can play with the weapon and uh, learn how to throw it away. It just gotta jump and then drop the gun. Alright, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and I see you in the next video. Bye.